Good morning, Great Elytrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Maria Angelicchio, alongside Brianna Vesley. Coming up in today's show, there is a meeting tonight for the trip to Europe. Tri M invites you to the grand finale of Music in Our Schools Month, and we have your three day forecast. All this and more on your WCAT TV news. There will be a mandatory meeting about the next trip to Europe in 2025 tonight in the Senior High CSC at 5.30 p.m. for all interested participants in grades 9 through 11. Please come with your parents or guardians to start to prepare for this unique opportunity to visit Spain and France. Costs, itinerary, planning, information, and expectations will be discussed. Start saving now for this great opportunity. Please email Dr. Antolik at liz.antolik at glsd.us or arrange to see her in the junior high C201 with any questions prior to the meeting. Music in Our Schools Month is coming to a close, and Tri-M needs your help for the grand finale. On Thursday at 7.20 a.m., the Wind Ensemble will be performing selections from their upcoming concert. At 7.35, all students and staff are invited to join them in the Commons to sing the alma mater. The Tri-M Music Honor Society thanks you for allowing them to share their music making with you over the past month and hopes to see you there. It's time to purchase your tickets for the prom. The event will take place on May 10th at Core Event Center. Tickets will be available for purchase on MySchoolDance.com from March 27th through April 10th for $70 per person plus fees. Late ticket sales are April 11th through April 15th and are $80 per person plus fees. This dance is open to juniors and seniors. Sophomores can only attend if they are asked by a junior or a senior. Come out and enjoy this memorable night at the disco. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Sofia Bulova for your three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today we have a high of 62 with a low of 40 with cloudy skies. Tomorrow, temperatures will range from a high of 54 with a low of 44, also with cloudy skies. Thursday, expect a high of 21 with a low of 34 with partly sunny skies. That's a three-day forecast. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Sophia. Students interested in careers in education, specifically working with children with special needs, are encouraged to attend an upcoming field trip on Wednesday, May 1st, to visit the Clareview School in Greensburg. Clareview employs special education teachers, counselors, personal care assistants, and more. For more info, please contact Mrs. Yetter. The deadline to sign up is April 22nd. There is still time for students in grades 9 through 12 to sign up to attend a field trip to visit the Seward Generation Power Plant on Thursday, April 18th. Students will see firsthand the processes that take place to turn coal into electricity. They will also see careers including welders, machinists, electricians, engineers, and more. A pizza lunch will be provided. See Mrs. Yetter for a permission form. Students in grades 9 through 11 interested in careers in the natural gas industry are invited to attend a free summer camp in July in Washington, PA or Williamsport, PA. Scan the QR code for more information and to submit an application. The deadline to apply is May 1st. We go to Savannah Repack for an update on our Wildcat sports teams. Good morning, Wildcats. Last night, the boys' tennis team lost with a score of 4-1 in a match against Mount Pleasant. For today's sports, the girls' softball team hosts Southmoreland at 4. Reporter Mackenzie Kubasek spoke to Corinne Wright after their last dominating win over Pine Richland. Hey, Wildcat fans, I'm here with Corinne Wright. Corinne, how does it feel to win your first home game? It feels great. It gives the team a lot of confidence going into our next few games and the rest of the season. Thanks for joining us, Corinne. Reporting for WCAT TV News, I'm Mackenzie Kubasek. Thanks, Mackenzie. With the first home track meet today, reporter Andrew Hunt sat down with Liam Wilson to talk about the season. What's up, Wildcat fans? Today, I'm here with Liam Wilson from the boys track team. What's up, brother? Uh, Liam, what are, what are some of your goals for the team this year? I'm going to work as hard as I can to support the team as well as I can. And uh, what have you been doing to prepare for this upcoming season? We've been lifting a lot, running a lot, you know, stretching, just the little things. Make ourselves 1% better every single day. Right, thank you, Liam. Reporting for WCAT-TV, I'm Andrew Hans. Thanks, Andrew. Also tonight, the girls lacrosse team heads to Indiana High School for a game at 7. And to finish off the night, the boys volleyball team hosts West Shemokin for a game at 7.30. That's all for local sports. Now here's Michael Vito with the national sports. Thanks, Savannah. Yesterday, the Pirates played in their final spring training game where they defeated the Toronto Blue Jays 4-3. Tonight, the Penguins welcome back Jake Gensel as they take on the Carolina Hurricanes at 7 o'clock. 
That's all for National Sports. Thanks and back to you. Catherine Mabus McKenna Foundation is offering eight full scholarships to young women in Westmoreland County for Bucknell University's Engineering Summer Camp, which will be held June 23rd through the 28th. Please stop in the guidance office for more information. The deadline to apply is April 5th. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Dalton King with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latro? Today's Tuesday, March 26, and the special of the day is chicken and waffles with emoji potatoes. Tomorrow's special is walking taco with corn. The soup of the day is chicken and rice. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Dalton. Idawai will be hosting two hiring events on April 6th and April 13th at Idawai Park. Students ages 14 and up can apply to work one of the several positions that are available for the summer. For more information, please visit idlewild.com jobs. Bagley Elementary School is looking for student volunteers to help out at their annual carnival event on Saturday, April 13th. Students can sign up for different time slots to work games, food, or general setup. Student volunteers must be able to provide their own transportation. If interested, please contact Mrs. Yetter for the link to sign up. The GLSD Facilities Department is looking to hire summer workers. This is a custodial position that includes general cleaning, moving furniture, and groundskeeping. It is a 10-week program and hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. The pay is $10.50 per hour. Interested students can pick up an application from Mrs. Yetter's office. Applications are due by May 1st. Students interested in pursuing a career in aviation are invited to attend an information session virtually or in person at St. Vincent College on Tuesday, April 2nd from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. about their new aviation management program, which is a four-year bachelor's degree in professional pilot and aviation management. Please contact Mrs. Yetter for the registration link. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCATTV News. Have a great day, Trobe. Go Wildcats!